guys so here we have our next lesson related party disclosures so hindi ko nalagay ng disclosure sorry so parang ito uh, uh, sino ba yung dapat tinidisclose mo yung pangalan sa yung FS na nagkaroon ka ng transaction sa kanya bakit mam kailangan sabihin kasi related party mo siya ibig sabihin there might be conflict of interest resting between you and yung katransaksyon mo kasi related party mo siya okay so ang tawag doon related party transactions so anong gagawin mo you have to do related party disclosures okay nag-iingat lang po yung auditor kasi ang auditor the prime um prime work or prime objective of an auditor is to make sure that the FS complies with standards and that it is reasonable there is reasonable assurance of compliance to protect the public from Siyempre, may mga companies naman talaga na gustong gulangan yung mga investors, creditors. Okay? So, this one, related party disclosures, it is required by the standard in order to safeguard uh, the public and also para um, systematic yung mangyaring um, related party transactions. Okay? So, let's start. Ano ba ay yung related party? Ang related party ay parties who have, una, ability to control. So, kaya kanyang kontrolin. Padalwa, ability to exercise significant influence over the other party. Alam kong naririnig nyo na ito dahil ng investment. Okay? Uh, significant influence, control, and joint control over the entity. Okay? Yan lahat ng yan ay related party. Okay? We have, I'll discuss, baka nakalimutan nyo na eh. What is control? Ang control ay eh, the party has a power over the investee or power to govern. Okay? Kailan siya nagkakaroon ng control? Yung ownership niya dun sa company through shares is more than half of the voting power of an entity. Sabi yan ng standard ha, more than half. So, it's not half. It's more than half. Okay? So, that's 51% above. Sabi yan ng standard na ownership is more than half. Okay? So, yun. Next, significant influence. You have power to participate but not control. So, you have significant influence, influence kung pwede kang mag-participate. Saan? Planning, financial, op, financial, um, bis, uh, financial decisions, operations of the business, but you cannot control. You are not the final say in which decisions the management should make when it comes to operations, to financial matters, okay? Significant influence ka lang. Ownership is 20% or more, okay? So, dahil ang threshold natin ng control is 51, meaning to say, this is 20% hanggang 50% significant influence, okay? Pero, alam nyo, pagdating sa tunay na when you are already seated in the corporate um, corporate table as an investor and control and significant influence, there are times na even if you have 19% pababa because maybe you are the founder of the corporation and through some dilemma na nangyari, nagkaroon ng bawas yung iyong stocks, naging 19% na lang pababa, or ikaw yung chief chef na nagpasikat doon sa business na yun because of your recipe, kahit ang shares mo is mas mababa sa 20%, you still have significant influence. Why? So, ito yung indication that a party has significant influence even if he has 19% pababa ng stocks. 
if they are represented in the board of directors. Okay? Pwede siya nakaupo sa BOD. 1%. Okay? Pero BOD siya. Okay? Significant influence. Participation in the policy-making process. More than half of the policies ng company siya ang gumawa. Pero 2% lang kanyang stocks. Material transaction between investor and investee. So, nagkaroon ka ng uh, siguro ay supplier ka. <laughs> supplier ka ng business. Okay. Investor ka ng supplier ka pa. Significant influence. Interchange of managerial personnel. So, nagkakaroon ng um, yung COO mo, COO din nung kabila, kabilang corporation. Pero, ang iyong stocks sa kanila is 10% lang. Pero, COO mo, COO na kabila. Okay? Provision of essential technical information. Ito yung doon pumapasok to si Master Chef. Ano? Kanya yung technical information. Pero, 5% lang yung kanyang stocks. Pero, may significant influence siya. Bakit? Tanggalin mo siya. Wala ka ng recipe. Daladala niya kasi intellectual property niya yun eh. Pero, nalang kumbilhin ng uh, corporation yon. Okay? Pero, matatalino mga yan eh. Hindi nila pinagbebenta. Kasi intellectual property nila yan eh. Okay? Joint control. Ano ba ang joint control? Ang joint control po is, there is contractual agreement of sharing of control over an economic activity. Okay? So, for example, if nakakita ka ng Robinsos at isang SM store sa isang mall. O, oh, di ba? Um, there is contractual agreed of sharing of control over an economic activity doon. Okay, dalawang malalaking kumpanya, they're sharing control over one mall. Okay, hindi ko na sasabihin kung anong brand. Basta, gets nyo yun. Okay. Next, examples of related parties. I'll discuss this one by one. Has control over the entity, associates, venturer, key management personnel, close family members with significant influence and their family members and post-employment benefit plans for the benefit of the employees. So, say natin, entities with control. Sino ba yan? Malimit. Parent. Pagdating yun ng third year, nandyan na si advance accounting si business combination at lagi nyo marinig si parent at si subsidiary. Sino ba si parent? SM Investments Corporation is parent company. Sino ang subsidiary? Bumaba ka ng kaunti. SM Hypermarket. SM Supermalls. Ano pa? BDO. Ano pa? SMDC. They are subsidiaries of SM Investment Corporations. O, oh, ba Okay. And fellow subsidiaries. Ano pa example? Jollibee Foods Corporation. Babaka. Subsidiary niya, Jollibee, Greenwich, Chowking. Hmm. Okay. Associates. These are those that exercise significant influence. And that's one is associates. Investment in associates. Ooh, parang it, it's familiar. Okay. Venturer usually pertains to joint venture. So, ito yung with... Mm-hmm. Joint venture mo. Uh, for example, wala kang lupa. Tapos biglang yung kabarkada mo sabi, may lupa ako. Ang negosyo ko real estate. Pero ayaw ko pagbenta sa iyo. Gusto ko mag-form tayo ng isang um, negosyo. Uh, joint venture. Okay? Akin ang lupa. Iyo yung, iyo yung building. Tayo-tayo ng isang commercial space. Joint venture. Ano pa? Um, yun lang. <laughs> Mayroon mag-isip. Okay? Anyway, key management personnel has authority and responsibility for planning, directing, and controlling the activities. Oh, katatapos lang natin ng share-based compensation. Alam na alam nyo kung sinong key management personnel. They are the CFO, the CEO, and the COO. Okay? So, lahat ng mga yan, related party. Okay. Next, close family members of the key management personnel. So, family members expected to influence or be influenced by that individuals in their, their dealings. Um, uh, examples, individual spouse and children. So, yung asawa ng CEO, CFO, COO, at yung mga anak niya. Okay. Next, 
children of the individual spouse. So, baka may anak sa labas or anak sa unang asawa yung napangasawa ni CEO. So, yon related party din yon And dependence of the individual or the individual spouse. Dependence. Sa tax, diniscuss sa inyo kung sino dependence. If hindi, tanong yung kasi kung sino dependence. Okay? Chiefly or solely um, dependent on the taxpayer. Okay? Doon sa individual na if hindi siya mab... If wala yung taxpayer, hindi siya... Hindi naman sa hindi siya mabubuhay. Kung baga, dependent talaga siya. Example, kapatid. Or, nandun pa yung descendants niya. As in, yung yung mother or father nung individual. Okay? Related party. Close family members pala. Okay? Individuals with significant influence and their family members. Kasi it explains it all na. Okay? This may be single individuals na because walang magawa sa buhay, bumili ng 20% at yung mga family members na yan. Okay? Next, post-employment benefit plans plan entities. Yung mga may hawak ng uh, retirement benefits. Kasi alam natin may fund to. So, dahil may fund siya, sa halip na nakatenga siya, ini-invest ng company sa post-employment benefit plan entities. So, yung mga entities na yon related party siya doon sa company. Okay? Next, related party transaction. So, alam mo na kung sino related party Ano naman na related party transaction? They are actually transfer of resources or obligations. Resources or obligations between related parties regardless of whether a price is charged. Ma'am, kahit free? Yes. Kahit free. Ma'am, bakit? Sabi ng standard. Regardless of whether a price is charged. Okay? So, par- past 24, paragraph 20, nagbigay ng examples ng Related party transactions. So, I just written a few. Okay, like purchase and sale of goods, purchase and sale of property and other asset, rendering or receiving services, leases, transfer of research and development, license agreement. Alam niyo sa business combination, may upstream, may downstream. Doon yung magugulo yung buhay ninyo. So, hindi na ko naman kaya tinatakot, pero I'm just preparing you for something like business combination. Dito nyo makikita yung lahat ng related party transactions and advanced application na related party computation. Dito kasi, sa intermediate, you just have to know the disclosures. Business combi computation. How to remove, how to consolidate financial statements of parent and subsidiaries knowing na may related party transaction sila. Ma'am, bakit ganun? Di madali lang yun? Hindi. Kasi you have to eliminate certain transactions na ang possibility niya is magdoble ang pasok sa financial statements. So, magkakaroon ng overstatement and understatement if doble ang pasok niya sa FS. Okay? Anyway, sa kanya, problemahin niyo, pagdating yun, no? third year. Okay? Related party disclosures, pa, uh, past 24, paragraph 12, requires disclosure of related party relationship. Related party relationship. Okay? Yung mga related parties mo, whether or not nagkaroon ng transactions. Ma'am, kahit ano lang, sinabi ko lang na, um, Asawa ko lang siya. Sasabihin ko yung pangalan niya. Di disclose. Yes. Disclose mo. Okay? Kahit wala kayong naging transaction, i-disclose mo pa rin. Lahat. Di disclose. Okay? Par- paragraph 12 tells us that disclose the name of the entity's parent. Okay? Kung, say, kung siya subsidiary, disclose mo yung parent niya. Pero kung hindi, kung siya fellow subsidiary at meron pa siyang other subs- kung subsidiary siya ng subsidiary kung subsidiary siya ng subsidiary, ang i-disclose mo is yung ultimate controlling party niya. Okay? Pero kailangan yung i-disclose mong controlling party or parent ay ang FS niya is for public use. Why? Para pwedeng tingnan yung consolidated FS. Kung hindi man ikaw public entity. Kasi for sure, nasa consolidated FS yung results of operations mo. Kung ano ang bunga, 
ano, kung ano ang, <laughs> kung anong puno, shampoo nga, <laughs> ganun, okay? Related party disclosure, paragraph 17, ano po yung minimum, minimum ha, minimum, ibig sabihin, dapat nakalabas, na, nakalagay itong lahat. Minimum eh, minimum disclosures. Pwede ka pa magdagdag, pero make sure na lahat ng dito, na lahat ng ton, lahat ng ton nandoon. Okay? Amount of transaction, amount of outstanding balance, terms and conditions, the allowance of doubtful accounts related to the outstanding balance, and expenses recognized during the period related to doubtful accounts. Okay? Disclosures about related party. Uh. About related party and arm's length transactions can only be made if properly substantiated. Mama na yung arm's length transactions. Yung arm's length. Yung arm's length. Tingnan mo arm mo. Arm's length. Yung parang madali ang transactions lang. Okay? Kailang, pwede ba siyang i-disclose? Pwede if substantiated siya properly. Okay? Mam lagi naman substantiated eh. Kasi if immaterial naman siya, Okay, you just have to dis- so you just have to include that amount. You have to disclose the related party, but it's up to you if you are going to disclose disclose siya knowing na not substantiated siya properly kasi may question ka diyan ni auditor. Okay? So you have to make sure that all transactions at arm's length ay substantiated properly pa, may proper evidence ka. Okay. Next, key management personal tra- compensation. So, dito naman, kailangan malaman ng public and ng investors and all other shareholders and stakeholders magkano ang sahod ng key management personnel mo. According to paragraph 16. Okay. Ano ang dinidisclose? Short-term employment benefits nila. Post-employment benefits, other long-term benefits, termination benefits, and share-based payment transactions. Ma'am, bakit? Gusto kasi nila malaman if well-motivated ang key management personnel mo. Or, gusto nilang i-analyze if tama ba yung pasahod mo nila uh, in connection with their ginagawa for the company. It's either the two, if well-motivated sila or if um, they are actually rendering the value of their compensation. Okay? Ikaw ba? Ayaw mo ba malama kung magkano sahod ng CEO ng kumpanyang pinag-investan mo? <laughs> okay? Anyway, malalaki syempre ang sahod ng mga yan. Why? Because they're carrying the weight of the corporation on their shoulders. Okay? So, siguro it malak mm, it Parang sabihin na natin yung executive compensation nila is deserve na nila yun. Okay? Uh, yun. I can comment more. Okay? Unrelated parties yan. Sino naman yung unrelated parties? Two entities with same director or key management personnel. There are some. For example, the CEO of First Gen. He's also a CEO of, CEO of another corporation. I cannot... Um, hindi ko alam po anong pangalan ng corporation, pero dalawang CEO positions niya, unrelated party, si First Gen at saka yung kanyang isa pang uh, corporation na inopan as CEO. Providers of essential goods in the course of normal dealings with the entity. Okay, for example, yung tubig mo, prime water. Okay? Normal dealings yun. Kasi kapag wala kang tubig, oh my God, walang tubig yung building mo. Paano ko mabubuhay? Hindi, un- unrelated party si prime water. For the sole purpose of public utility siya na providing water sa iyo. Okay? So yan. A single customer supplier franchise or general agent with um with hindi ko na ito lang. Ah, yung sa book niyo, basahin uh, yung sa module na ibibigay ko, nandun siya. Huwag mong lahatin na dahil lang nagkaroon kayo ng connection or nagkausap lang kayo or nagtranslate nagtransact lang kayo. Uh, on a daily basis, because of normal dealings, sinabi mo ng related party mo, hindi lahat. Huwag mo lahatin. Marupo ka eh. Huwag <laughs> marupo. Okay? Unrelated party pa rin sila. Single customer, supplier, franchise, or general agent. Okay? Unrelated party. You don't have, have to disclose all of your customers. Okay? Huwag marupo. 
Anyway, two ventures simply because they share joint control over a joint venture. Kasi hindi lahat, um, di mo pwedeng sabihin si Venturer 1 ay related party ni Venturer 2. Hindi. Si Venturer 1 ay related party ni Venturer A. Si Venturer 2 ay related party ni Venturer A. Pero si Venturer 1 at si Venturer 2 ay hindi related party sa isa't isa kung meron man silang negosyong kanila. Gets? Okay? So, ganun. Okay? Next. Transactions with government-related entities. Yan. You're dealing with government. Okay? Hot topic, government. Anyway, exempted sila from normal disclosure. Alin yung normal? Yung minimum disclosures na required ni standard. Okay? Sino yan? Those exempted from provided with providing with normal disclosures. Government that has control, joint control, or significant influence over the entity. Government controlled GOCCs, government owned and controlled uh, corporations. There are some semi public or semi private corporations that are controlled by the government. Semi. Okay, you don't have, they are exempted from normal disclosures. And other entities controlled, jointly controlled, or significantly influenced by the same government. Okay? Ano lang ang pwede nilang i-disclose? Disclose only the following for such exemptions. Name of the government and nature of the relationship. Kasi kailangan may label. Information on the nature and amount of each individually significant transaction with the government. For example, kasi di ba sa tax, ay hindi pa ata sa tinuturo sa inyo ni Sir Clay. Sa tax kasi, when you are dealing with government, there are certain tax exemptions granted because ang kadil mo ay government. Okay, so you have to disclose the following for, for ano, for such exemptions like, yung transaction, ano, in nature. For example, bakit ka, bakit ka nagka dealings with NTC? You know, hot topic, hot issue, NTC. Anyway, related party disclosures that are not required. Wala lang, sinabi lang, not required siya. Kasi baka marami kayong tanong, accountancy, maraming tanong eh. In separate FS of a parent, subsidiary, associate, or venture. Separate FS. Ibig sabihin, si Jollibee may FS. Si Chao King may FS. May Green, si Greenwich may FS. Ang tawag doon, separate FS. Okay? Si Jollibee Foods Corporation may FS. Okay? Lahat ng yon kailangan ng requires disclosure of related party transaction. Lahat sila, yung separate FS nila, naka-disclose. Lahat ng kanilang related party transactions. Pero pagdating sa consolidated FS ng group, si Jollibee Foods Corporation, i-consolidate niya lahat ng kanyang FS ng subsidiaries niya. Hindi na required ang disclosure of intra-group related party transactions intra. Ibig sabihin, si Jollibee Foods Corporation bumili ng pagkain kay Jollibee. That's intra-group uh, related party transaction. For example, sa isang charity program ni Jollibee Foods Corporation, ang ginamit niyang food or service provider ay kay Chow King. Yung related party transaction na yon disclose siya sa separate FS but sa consolidated you don't have to disclose the intra group related party transaction intra sa loob ana okay next pricing policies so the following methods are used for pricing transactions between related parties ma'am bakit may pricing policies kasi for example as for example, subsidiary mo siya. Parent ka, subsidiary mo siya. Tapos, umu-order ka kay subsidiary. Ikaw ba, subsidiary? Al diretso naman sa'yo. Si parent mo naman yung bumibili. ESRP mo ba? Di ba hindi? Ano? Because subsidiary ka at parent siya, lower price ang ibibigay mo sa kanya. There is flexibility sa pricing between intra-group related party transactions or pag-uutang. Tataasan mo ba ang interest? Bibigyan mo pa ba ng interest knowing that subsidiary ka, parent siya? Or fellow subsidiary mo siya? Between Greenwich and Chowking, lalakhan mo ba ang presyo? 
knowing that you are fellow subsidiaries. Yes, you are fellow competitors, but actually you have one parent. So, ito yung pricing policies required or pwede mong gamitin between related parties. Uncontrolled price method, resale price method, cost plus method, and no price method. Okay? Uncontrolled price method. Ano yan? Ang uncontrolled price method, hahanapin mo yung comparable goods sold in a comparable market to a buyer unrelated to the seller. For example, dahil well, fellow subsidiary mo siya, ang pinagbebenta mo sa buyer mo ng 100, pagbenta mo sa kanya 100, uncontrolled price method. Okay, says so the price by reference to comparable goods sold in a comparable market. Pwede namang di 99. Yan ang, okay? 98. Resale price method. Resale. So, uso ngayon ang online selling. Bibigay sa ni supplier ng resale price. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya yung selling price. For example, bigay ko sa'yo ng 85 pesos. Because you're my reseller, I'm going to give you, uh, give it to you at 85. Okay? Then you can sell it at 135. SRP ang 135. So, sumusunod ka sa SRP, pero actually kumikita ka pa rin kasi ang gamit, binig, bin, binigay sa'yo na supplier's resale price. Sa related party transactions, gano'n na mangyayari din. Uh, binigay sa'yo ni parent at resale price. So, subsidiary, pagbenta mo siya at SRP. Okay? Cost plus method. Dito naman, sinasabi ni parent or ni, or ni subsidiary ang markup. So, for example, sige, 10% markup lang. Bigay ko sa iyo, bigay ko sa iyo ng gantong price, pero supplier's cost, then ikaw bahala ko ng markup mo, pero for, as recommended, 10%. Ganun lang. Then, no price method. <laughs> <laughs> no price is charged. Okay, why? In truck group related party. Huwag mo nang bayaran. Fee na yan. Kasi magkamag-anak naman tayo. Related party. Ganon. Okay? Ganyan yan. Free provision of management services and extension of free credit. For example, meron kang meron kang controller. Si parent may controller. Si subsidiary walang controller nagkakaroon ng problema si subsidiary. Si controller ni parent, papahiram niya muna kay subsidiary yung controller nila to solve the problem, pero ang nagpapasahod parent. That's no price method. Ano? Free provision of management services. Okay? So, ganun siya. And, ha! Huh, tapos na ang related party transactions. I hope you're, you have learned from the lesson. Nagmadali ako kanina doon sa isang video yung notes of FS kasi palobat na. Okay? So, I'll be uploading this in the FB group for easy access. Also, I'll be uploading the modules na binigay Shinir ni Jan Rose, ni Sophie at ni Kelly kasi iniskan nila yung book um, for you to yung mga hindi dala ang libro or walang libro during this pandemic kasi naiwan sa boarding house or kasama naiwan, hindi ko kayo pababayaan. Isha-share ko sa inyo yon if it hasn't been shared by your representatives. Okay? Upload ko din siya. And also, I'll be providing mm -hmm. dito kasi wala pang practice exercises eh. Lahat concepts pa to. Okay? By the end of Siguro by the end of the eve, by the chapter, I'll be having an assessment, end of chapter assessment, para lang ma-refresh, ma-apply niya yung knowledge about dun sa tinuro ko. Okay? So, I hope you're doing well. This is an asynchronous class. Kasi ayoko maging pabigat sa inyo. Okay? So, huwag kayong lalabas ng bahay. Stay safe. Kasi pag nahuli kayo, bilad sa araw ng tatlong oras, sayang ang kojik at papaya. Okay? Because papaya. Anyway, bye-bye.